So today's gear review, we've got another piece of flame retardant combat gear. This time we're going down under from Plat Attack. We've got the Tactax Mark III open bracket PTG close bracket. Now, Plat Attack have been manufacturing these uh, particular style of combat pant for a while. Um, we all know what they look like. Say no more on that. They used to make these in the Cryptek for quite a while. Different Cryptek patterns made those for a few years. Uh, their standard non-FR model has moved on now to a slightly different design. But certain law enforcement units within Australia requested this model from Plat Attack. So that's what we have here. As I mentioned, fully flame retardant fabric. It's a fairly thick, heavy duty fabric. You've got the grid for the ripstop pattern in there. It's very, very nice stuff. But there are a lot of features on this thing. So I'm going to dive right into those now. Starting dead top center, we've got the standard Velcro zip fly. We've got a YKK zip in there. Very nice. Going around the waistband, got your belt loops, fairly wide tall enough to accommodate pretty much any tactical belt you're going to want. Hangers underneath on here, pretty standard pockets on the front, jean style pockets. Moving down, your front pockets house your elastic adjustment cord with your toggle and a little pull piece on the end just there. So that's going to be your knee pad height adjustment in the usual place you'd expect. Cut down at an angle, very neat, nicely done. The large thigh cargo pockets are interesting. They're a little bit different to what you'd usually expect. You've got a large pleat in the middle, just here, for expansion. And then it's a zip. Again, YKK, you've got a paracord pull on it, but zipped rather than a Velcro flap. Good for security, a little bit harder to access the contents. Your more standard Velcro flapped pocket tends to open out quite wide, sort of levers away from the leg of the trouser. With this, there's not, you don't really have that so much. When it's actually on the leg and it's tight around the, your, your thigh, basically, it's a little bit trickier to get into here. You don't have as wide of an opening. It won't open up like I'm doing now because it's on your body. But you've got the pleat in the center and there's a bit of one at the back around here. So plenty of storage space. And as I say, very good for security. Once that zip's done up, you're not losing anything out of that pocket. Knee pad area. Stretch fabric, as you'd expect, fits these bad boys in. Perfectly, really good fit with the pads. As you can see on the other knee, you've got the cover flap for the pad. If you don't want to use a pad or you want to use a field style one on the inside, you can close up that Velcro flap, no worries there. When you're using the combat pad, tucks away nice and neat. Ankle pockets are of a similar pattern to the thigh ones. Zip for security. Pleat in the middle for expansion. All your E and E survival gear goes in there. Ankles are actually double layered. Uh, you've got two layers of fabric on the bottom here, and rather than a conventional folding cuff, you've actually got a, a pull type with the elastic, so you can cinch that down good and tight around your boots. Round to the back. Padded at the waist, nicely thickly padded, actually quite impressive. You've got similar elasticated closures either side, so you can adjust the size of the waist. If you're between sizes, definitely go upper size and then you can cinch them down with these, not a problem. Stretch panel on the back, as you'd expect. Double layer of fabric again on the seat for that wear resistance. Hook and loop adjustment behind each knee pad, so you can tighten, tighten these in, keep the knee pad in place if you so choose. Personally, I tend to never use these. Um, I find it just creates, it sort of cinches everything in, makes the knee pad really sit against your knee. You just get a sweaty knee and you can just leave them loose and you know, it'll work just fine. But some people prefer them. So the option's there if you want it. Back pockets, sort of Gen 2 style ones up here with a single piece of Velcro, just a straight opening, decent amount of size to them. I quite like that style, it works. Don't, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, honestly, on that one. Really wide center belt loop at the top here. To give you an idea of the stitching quality you're looking at on these, there is a very small bar tack, about five, six mil wide, on each corner just of this belt loop. And that stitching quality pretty much continues throughout the rest of the trouser. 
double stitching all around this seat reinforcement. Two, la two lines of stitching, bar tacks on the corner of these zips, bar tacks, bar tacks, all, all over the place. Um, got a pretty high stitch count by the looks of things. Tight, neatly done. Everything's obviously immaculate as far as the sewing work that's gone into these. Overall, really impressive construction, I have to say. So it is a bit of a heavier fabric. As I mentioned, when you, when you just pick them up and pick up another pair of trousers in the other hand that are equivalent, you can feel the weight of the fabric. But if you want flame resistance, this is a really strong option. They're priced at 220 Australian dollars, which once you convert to either pounds, uh, US dollars, whatever, is honestly a, a shockingly low price. And yet the quality is not compromised at all. These are absolute top of the line. No doubt about it. There's, there's no compromise going, going on here. Um, but really impressive price. They come in the black, as you see, or navy blue. As I mentioned, these are a specific product for Australian law enforcement agencies. So that's why you have that. Now, I don't believe the stretch panels are going to be flame resistant. I should probably mention there's one in there as well in the groin, as you'd expect with this type of cut. Um, but I don't think that fabric is flame resistant. However, everything else is it's seriously good fabric. I, I'm genuinely impressed with this stuff. Um, it's a little bit old school. It feels quite, feels quite heavy and thick, as I mentioned, but really high quality, reinforced, double layered where it needs to be. No skimping on the stitching. Again, I think for the price, in fact, even not for the price, these are, these are fantastic. And I genuinely amazed they make them they sell these for uh, as low a price as they do, being flame resistant. With normal 50-50 Nyko, you get no melt, no drip. But this, as I mentioned, is proper flame retardant fabric. So I will link down in the description to the Platac website where you can pick these up. Definitely check them out if this is something you'd like, or if you just want a black or navy blue combat trouser. Really strong option, even if you don't need the flame resistance. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate it. All the social media is down below, posted in there all the time. If you want to see more gear reviews like this, more high quality gear, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.